what's going on everyone welcome to trading crypto today we're gonna be going over the bull run checklist see where we're at see if there is another possible dip on btc and just what's going on in the bitcoin market as you can see if you've been watching my channel for a little while now i normally have my moon suit with everything going on and i've decided to retire that until we get over thirty thousand, because we technically aren't extremely bullish until we get over thirty thousand dollars for btc so no reason to be sitting in that ship right now so with that let's get into the price prediction and you know the bull run checklist okay first things first let's just look at btc before we jump into the list over here uh let's look at the day chart real quick something i wanted to point out uh is the resemblance of what's going on right now to what happened in March 8th. If we overtake $27,000, my personal opinion, that is going to mark the bottom. You can see this was a general area of which we bounced from BTC. Uh, we've wicked down to yeah, 26, we wicked down here to 25, but the bodies of the candles have been maintaining above 26.7. $26,700 is the main support area that we need to hold for BTC. If you fall below that, then look out below. You can see there is a price volume gap below that general area, but this is the support area for BTC. So right now it's very similar to, you know, that capitulation we had in, you know, March 11th. But if we see a nice size bounce off 26 and if we overtake 27, I think that's going to confirm the bottoms in and then we can start breaking up over $30,000. So we really need to hold this area. The indicators right now on the day chart, if we just look at this real quick, we, we are still going bearish on the MACD. RSI sitting neutral at around 40. WTX is pretty low. Uh, what we really want to look at here is what I really want to look at here, I guess, was the moon phases and see how that was playing out. You can see every time we've gotten a full moon, we've gone up. Every time we've gotten a new moon, we went down. We did get a full moon here. We still are capitulating. But if we do get a bounce off this 26.7 and start heading higher, I guess this is still a valid indicator because this one took a little bit while longer after the full moon to play out. This one took a little longer after the full moon to play out. Uh, the reason I pull this up is another YouTuber brought this to my attention. It's been pretty dang accurate so far. It's kind of a lagging indicator. You can see it doesn't happen right away, but it does kind of foreshadow the moves to come ahead. So we're going to see if we can see a bounce off this 26.7, which it does look like is happening. And our next move would bring us up to that around that $34,000 area, which is this area back here that we tested back in May of 2022. So right now, I mean, this looks, looks like a giant step up step up pattern to me uh we've gone over step up patterns on this channel several times before so that's kind of what we're looking for on btc we need to stay above 26.7 and if we get that bounce off there 26.7 in my personal opinion the bottom's in and then we can start talking about some higher highs for btc okay so that is pretty much the btc now let's get into the checklist here we're gonna look at the btc dominance i look at this on the weekly i believe i haven't checked this in a while honestly um but so what we're seeing here is the btc dominance is um Obviously, the dominance of BTC. If the BTC dominance starts falling, that indicates you know a possible alt season happening. If we break over you know that forty eight percent, which we had drawn in the last last time we checked this, that would confirm you know a alt alt season winter. But as of right now, it does look like we're getting rejected off that general area of that forty eight percent. And I've talked about this before. I think we're in this phase right here of you know, the Bitcoin dominance, which is going to lead to a very massive alt season, which we will talk about a little bit later in this video um, and why I think we're in this general area uh, right here. So for right now, it does look like we are getting rejected off that 48%. So if we start seeing a heavy drop downwards, then alt seasons are going to absolutely rip. If we do break over that 48, 49%, you can see there's a pretty large price volume gap there. So there's a good chance we could get sucked up. And then this would just end up being a reverse BART pattern. And we'd head up to 72% dominance of BTC. Altcoins would get wrecked. And then we would just have to come back at the halving. So that's pretty much the BTC dominance right now. We are still just getting stuck at this resistance area. We haven't seen any large movements to the downside yet, but we are still growing bearish. If you look at the indicators there, the MACD is losing its bull bullish momentum. Our size high, and we've gotten two double sell signals. So it's kind of looking likely, in my personal opinion, on the weekly that the BTC dominance will start retracing back down to around 41%. Now let's look at the US, <clears throat> excuse me, let's look at the USDT dominance. So UST dominance is, you know, the amount of people who are in stable coins right now, when they get out of the BT or when they get out of the USDT dominance, that shows that they're getting back into the market, which shows the bull run. Every time we've touched the bottom of this channel has been the top of the bull run. Every time we've touched the top of this channel has been the bottom of the bear market. So we're going to be keeping this, uh, 
bull run checklist live throughout the entire bull run so we can kind of try to get a general idea of when we're getting pretty close to the top of the bull run as well so as long as we maintain below this 50 percent area right here you can see that 50 percent line that gradually moves up then that means people are still getting out of uh, stable coins into the market i know we haven't seen as large of a drop as we want to but once we start seeing this drop down here that is going to sig signify that the bull run has started right now we're pretty much stagnant sideways which is very similar to what happened um where was it i saw it earlier uh, we dropped down we, we consolidated for a while before we started capitulating even lower but right now we're just hovering around this area this is just the longest term consolidation it does look like the longest term consolidation that usdt has had for a while just around a general area that's why btc has just been moving sideways as well so we're gonna be keeping a close eye on this as well the usdt dominance when it starts dropping then yes we're gonna be saying hey bull run here we go if we start heading back up that's gonna be a little bit concerning to me but we'll talk about that when the time comes Next thing I want to look at is, I believe that this is the total two. Yes. So this this ties us back into that BTC dominance and why I think we're in that general large area where we could see a large capitulation on the BTC dominance. And uh, just to bring it to your attention, you can see when we first started, obviously there weren't a lot of people in crypto. So the total market cap excluding BTC was extremely small. We ran all the way up to $159 million total market cap on November uh, 2014 and that was our top right here so we'll zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better so we hit this top here then we had a nice rounded bottom and then we preview then we broke that top on july of 2016 so we had two years of downwards movement of you know the market just being absolute crap right there and then we broke over that previous all-time high topped out and then back tested that previous highest support right here so what what this is telling us here is that every time it goes up like this that's a mini you know alt season and what we had is we had up a um rounded bottom we broke the high we back tested the high and then we absolutely ripped ass to the upside and this was that huge this is the largest alt season we've ever had in crypto right there it was this huge run up here from 2016 to you know 2018 we absolutely ripped so that's when we topped out in 2018 and you can see we had a nice rounded bottom and guess what's happening we broke that previous high went up to 1.9 trillion back testing that previous highest support right now showing consolidation this is pretty much to a t a cup and handle going on right here let's just zoom in and take a look at this and you can definitely see the similarities of this to this down here and obviously there's a lot more money in the market now so the run is could be absolutely enormous so what we where we're at right now i believe is getting close to this phase of the alt season which is absolutely ripping ass the upside you can see we had that many alt season right here in the past um and whatnot like that but if we are comparing to previous history which history doesn't repeat but it does rhyme you can definitely see the similarities going on here we got that high we rounded bottom broke the high back tested went to the moon got that high rounded bottom broke it back tested now we should technically be going to the moon which ties us into the btc dominance right here and why i think the btc dominance is in this general area because btc dominance has to go down in order for there to be an alt season so the btc dominance is kind of still validating that movement for the alts because we got all these sell signals on the indicators so what i think would happen is btc dominance would drop to the low 30s or even the high 20s and that would be our next very very large alt season because we've got many alt seasons and then we've got this huge one right here which i think is going to be very or no this huge one right here this was it sorry 2018 and that's what i'm kind of looking for is that huge drop down there and the possibility i mean history doesn't repeat but it does rhyme you know there's a lot more altcoins out there than there were in the past so we're gonna have to see how this plays out uh, now we we went over the alt, possible altcoin season in which we are in right now. Now we're gonna be going over do 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 do. We're gonna go over BTC. This is the Moon Boy chart right here that we've had drawn several several times. I have an in depth video on this linked to the top of my YouTube channel. So if you want to go there and look at it, you can. If not, I haven't gone over this in a while, so I might as well go over it. It gives me a little bit of hopium as well. Um, so what we're seeing here is these blue lines are the top, are the tops of BTC, every top. So we have the CME futures here on the one week. So we have the top here, the bull run, you know, to December 2017. And then we went to the bottom here in December 2018, right? That was a one year bear market. So if we draw a fib from that top to the bottom right there, that technically uh, brings the 1618. You know, if we would have drew this back in 2000, was that 2018 and we just said hey we're not going to sell till hits the 1618 we would have been able to catch the, the top perfectly we would have been able to predict the top years in advance so what we happened here is we actually went right to the 1618 and that was the top for btc which is kind of crazy uh and then we started that retracement right here so now since that played out um you know if that that played out from drawn from the top to the bottom to the 1618 why not use that 
as validation for a possible move on the next run. So if we draw a fib from the, that all time high of Bitcoin that 1618 to the bottom, which we're saying the bottom of BTC was November of 2022 at that 15.5 or whatever it was, that 1618 brings us up to around that $160,000 BTC. So $160,000 BTC, if it replays what it did back here. Now, what we have here is the Elliott wave then. So this brings us into the extended cycle wave five blow off top. So we have our wave one, two, three, four, fifth wave. Fifth wave is the most impulsive and the most dramatic wave in the Elliott wave. So if we have that convert here on the 618, that brings us right to about December of this year. So why December of this year? We draw a parallel channel here and you can see this actually fits perfectly within a parallel channel. I mean, I could hide this Elliott wave for a little bit so you can see this channel going on. We'll, we'll hide the fibs for a little bit too. You can see BTC fits right into this channel perfectly. And what we happened on here is guess what? We went from the top of the channel to the bottom, which brought the bear market, you know, the bull run top to the bear market bottom. And what happened? We actually got the bull run, next bull run top at the top of this channel at around that 67,000. So using that reference as, you know, validation, that 1618 convergence technically is in June of 2023. Now, I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, we'd have to absolutely go straight up from here. But I wouldn't put it past or put it out of the cards to get this bounce off the 382 is which we're doing right now, which would validate that bottom on BTC where we currently dropped. You can see right now on this larger one week time frame, we're hitting the um, 382 right here. And that next large move would bring us up to the 1618 convergence area, which is around that $160,000 in December. So why do I think this is still valid? Another reason is if we use time cycles. So these are time cycles, equal distance and times where events possibly happened, AKA bullish impulses. So for bullish impulse, let me blow this up for you guys. We're not gonna look at the indicators at this moment. So each time we fall into this valley, there seems to be a bullish impulse. So right here on December 2018, we fell into the deep crevice. We got a bullish impulse, which was the bear market bottom. We rallied our wave one. And then we dipped down to wave two and guess what? Wave two fell right into another valley, which brought on a bullish impulse, right? We had a bullish impulse up to wave three and then we had that big retracement. And remember everyone said the top said we had that big retracement in July and guess what happened? We had that retracement, which brought us right back in to the crevice of this time cycle, which brought us another bullish impulse, which brought us that all time high in BTC. So after we got that all time high in BTC, we retraced, retraced, retraced. And guess what? That bear market bottom in November 2022. I know there's some people that don't think the bottom's in, but November 2022, crazy enough, that falls right into another, you know, crevice of the time cycle. Each one of these is equal distance to times and each time so far since 2017, we've had a bullish impulse every time we have hit the center. And every time we've hit that center, we've rallied higher. So we've, we hit, we hit the bottom here, we rallied higher. We hit the bottom here, we rallied higher. We hit the bottom here, we rallied higher. We hit the bottom here, we're rallying higher, bouncing off that 382 for BTC. So that's just another reason why I think there's a chance for us to see this very dramatic move on BTC, which brings us to the blow off wave five top and the possible $160,000 BTC at the end of this year. Now there's your hopium right there. Um, I don't know why I have moon phases on here. I don't think that's valid. So that's pretty much the BTC dominance. And I think I have the DXY next The we'll end it on the DXY. How's the Bitcoin or how's the DXY doing? So the DXY, we have the past, we have our ABC correction, ABC correction, and right now we're having our ABC correction. I drew this, I don't know how long ago and it's still following it pretty dang accurately. So what we're gonna be seeing is that drop down to, you know, we're gonna be seeing a decent sized run into July, which is, what this is telling us is the DXY should drop all the way until July, which we will see a decent sized rally in coins. After there, we'll see a decent sized bounce recovery back to 99 and that big C correction down to around 88. Cause you can see this is a sideways channel right here. Yes, we did break out of it, but we finally broke back into this channel. So this is still valid. And this is a very, very large move, which when the DXY makes a very large move to the downside is very, very bullish for crypto, which also ties into that very large alt season that we talked about earlier in this video. So a lot of information out there about that possible very large, large alt season. We went over the hopium chart on BTC. We have this ABC correction going for BTC, which has, is still following accurately. I just think we just need to see how this plays out. I still think the bottom is in. Um, I'm still 
you know, fully invested in the market. I don't think we go lower than 1500. And just like I showed here on this BTC dominance, it does look like we're bouncing off that 382, which will continue us up to the upside, which validates that BTC TA at the beginning of this video, saying that if we break over 27, we're gonna start the step up pattern. We'll be seeing that next rally up to around 34 to $36,000 BTC. So hang in there, guys. Uh, bull market's just getting started. It's going to get absolutely insane. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or on my Twitter page. The links are below in the description.